it's a law. You have noticed that I've been trying to get your attention ever since you met Chantal, right? Have you noticed that? I think now it took long enough, Salah, but I think now you've noticed me. And that's all I've really wanted this whole time. I've been trying to get your attention for over a year now, Salah. Over a year. Now you finally noticed me. And now it's time for me to make my move. Salah. Are you listening, Salah? Yes, Salah. You don't need to go with Foodie Beauty to get papers. She can't get them for you. I know you had your you had your mark set on Canada, but where where does everyone really want to go? Do you really want to go to Canada? What's even the Canadian national anthem? If you heard it, would you even recognize it? I don't know that I would. But everyone in the world, just about, just about, I don't want to be egotistical, you know, just about, knows the Star Spangled Banner. Everyone recognizes this flag. Everyone. And if you were to obtain papers in the United States, wouldn't that be far better for you? Now, I know, I know. You joined Tinder you set your location for Canada, but you don't know anyone in Canada. You don't have any family there. There's nothing going on in Canada at all. But you set it for that. And you saw the, you saw the absolute desperation in Chantal, where she actually put her phone number, her phone number, out for public consumption. You didn't even have to match with her on Tinder. Anyone could have called her. Anyone could have texted her. And you saw that desperation and you jumped. You jumped, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And then within a couple of days, you were in love and uh, you were going to get married. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now that's good for you. That's good for you for what your ultimate goal is. You know, you need someone who's gullible, not very bright, insecure. That's important. They have to be insecure about themselves so that you can manipulate them. Right. And, you know, maybe appeared to have a little bit of money. Right. And probably bragged a little bit about their YouTube channel and how much money they've made in the past. The best isn't the present, though, is it? No, it's not. It's not. And I think you found that out quickly. You saw those YouTube paychecks coming through, and they weren't a lot, were they? They barely covered her food orders every day. Barely. Not much left over. Hmm. Okay. So maybe that's for now. She's not making much now. When she goes back to Canada, we'll set it up. She's going back for her health. We'll create a whole new arc, a health arc. She'll go back for medical attention. And I will follow her, right? Is that what you thought? I'll just follow her to Canada as her loving husband. Husband. Right? You're the husband, right? Right? <laughs> We can see medical results. We can see lab results. We could see the inside of Ch we could see the inside of Chantal. I mean, really, and not to be gross, but we have okay. But we can't see a marriage certificate. Can you explain that? So, <laughs> the whole chat is green. Unbelievable. Thank you guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you thought you had a winner in Chantal, didn't you? You thought you had a winner. Okay, she'll make more money when she goes back to Canada. She will be on this medical arc. And as her loving husband with no marriage certificate, I will follow her to Canada with a Syrian passport. I mean, good luck. Good luck. It's not your fault that, you know, you're from Syria. He was born in Kuwait, though, everybody. You will keep that straight for sure. No marriage certificate. You thought, okay, I'll just follow her to Canada. Like, that's, that sounds legit, right? Like, she's on the edge of death, you know, that's what she's kind of been portraying, that she's in a dire medical situation. And as her loving husband, I need to be with her. I have to, right? So it seems like you guys are kind of working on that, because otherwise I'm not really sure why you're still hanging around, unless you're just still waiting for December's YouTube paycheck, because Chantal will receive hers on the 23rd, no, 22nd, 22nd or 23rd, so Friday probably. 
So are you waiting until the next paycheck? Has she been promising that this period is going to have, have high ad revenue, so she's going to have a better paycheck finally? Has she promised you that? Is that what you're waiting for, Salah? The November paycheck? Hmm? Is that what you're waiting for? I don't think it's going to be that great. I don't think so. I don't think so. So I don't know if you're aware of this, Salah, okay? Now, still, I'm still, I'm still shooting my shot for you. Um, <laughs> Mr. Chantal, I'm shooting my shot for you, Salah, okay? So just, just, just keep in mind, keep in mind that, you know, this, all of this discussion has a reason and a point, okay? I'm not just rambling, kind of like you did in your video. I'm not doing that. I have a point. I have a point that I'm making. So you've probably already, you know, lost, you don't have like a, a good um, span of attention, right, Salah? So just, okay, come back now, come back, all right? Join me again, all right? We are going to watch this video, Mrs. H, yes, yes, <laughs> we are. Do I have any extra sports bras for Salah? Good point, traveling teacher. Maybe he's the one that should calm his chesticles, right, right, right? So, Salah, I don't know if you have looked into the requirements for a spousal visa to go to Canada. Have you looked into that at all? Because she has to make enough money to support herself and you. I think it's for three years. Canadians can correct me. I, I've been so deep into Kuwaiti laws and Canadian laws. There's so many Canadians who are here with us that they can just simply verify if you've looked into it. Did you know she has a bankruptcy that has not been discharged, that she has to pay back thousands of dollars? Did you know that she has a tax liability, a national, federal tax liability, because she didn't pay her federal income taxes for a couple of years in a row? Were you aware of that? Does that sound financially sound to you for her to bring you into Canada? I don't think the immigration department is going to see it as a viable option for you. Therefore, therefore, I am shooting my shot at you, Salah. I am. I am. Please consider. Please consider. I finally got your attention, and now that I have it, I have to let you know, I don't think that Chantal is right for you. I think I can do more for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No disrespect to um, Star Spangled Banner, but you know, okay, we're just we're gonna cut that short a little bit. All right. So here's what I'm offering. Okay. Okay. I love you, Chantal. Welcome, Alex Nixon. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you, Green Sparkles. I'm, I'm thrilled to have you. Thank you. You just threw up in your mouth a little bit. I know, me too. Me too. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of white knuckling it like, okay, yeah, I'm extending the offer. I am. I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'm offering. Okay. You can make a lump sum payment. All right, that is technically illegal, all right, but I am an owl, so I'm not really a citizen, but I am, but I am at the same time, okay, all right. Of course you're invited, Marwa, oh my gosh. We're gonna party like it's 1999 if Salah comes to the States, forget about it. If you could come here for New Year's Eve, Salah, we could all meet in Times Square in New York City. What do you think? What do you think? All right, we're getting too far ahead of ourselves, all right. So a lump sum payment, I'll let you determine the amount because I don't want to undercut myself. So I'll let you throw out the first number. Okay. Now I know Chantal paid you a lump sum before she went to Kuwait, but she wasn't seeking Kuwaiti residency. So that was kind of backwards, wasn't it? A little bit backwards. So, I mean, you should be paying her to get Canadian residency, shouldn't you? But I guess that's what you saw in her. You saw the desperation and thought, hmm, <laughs> Katie's putting a bride in the chat. <laughs> I'm too good for Salah Christie. No, 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 no. No one is. No one is. He is an example. 
he is an example of um, the type of Arab man that I truly have never met in my life. Truly, truly. But I think there's other things that he can offer. I do. I do. Just money, mostly. Your brainstorming reception food, Sansa? If you would be the caterer, I would be... Th oh, my God. Can you guys imagine if Sansa Cooks is the caterer? Psh, we're eating good, everybody. We are eating good. She's making Jamaican black cakes. She's making oh, psh, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. You want to be a flower girl? Alexis, you're going to be... Yeah, you're definitely going to be one of the head flower girls. Of course. Of course. Creepy Corner wants to make all the decorations. All right. Yeah. Those would be beautiful. Yes. Now, right. Exactly. Um, Marianne. That's right, Marianne. You know, Salah is pretty picky about his food. So he will probably be looking for something more like dino nuggets. I think so. You know, this could be our honeymoon suite, Salah. Look at all those dino nuggets. Don't those look so appealing? So tasty? If that's what I gotta do to lure you, I'll do what I can. I'll do what I have to do. We got a bunch of white rice. Okay, now I'm not a big fan of white rice. I try to limit my carbs, but you know, I don't know if you're into it or not. We have Julia. Okay, you are gonna bring Julia with you from Kuwait to the States. Okay, you're not gonna put her on the street. You're going to vaccinate her, you're going to get her spayed, and then you're going to bring her to the States. That has to happen. Okay. Chicken nuggies for life. Exactly, Camby. Exactly. Yeah. I get all the chicken nuggies. Now, these images were created by Wurschneffer, who's in the nest all the time. All the time. And this was for their anniversary. But this can also be for our honeymoon. Okay. The dino nuggies. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a hamster on the bed, too, in one of those. Yeah, okay. All right. So I got that for you. Okay, we got that all, we got, we got that all taken care of. The food is, is squared away, okay? Now, <laughs> Julia is our queen. That's, yes, Julia needs to be, to, it, she, Julia is number one priority, okay? Julia and Harry, if Harry is even still around, okay? All right. Otters and elephants, you better have a good reason for objecting to this. A good reason. A legally viable reason. <laughs> okay. All right. So you give me a lump sum. Like I said, you determine the amount because I don't want to undercut myself. I don't want to ask for like 10K if you really were going to give me 50K, you know? We're talking about USD, by the way, not dinar. And I do not, I do know how to do the conversions. So you're not going to confuse me. All right. I, I know. Okay. All right. Here's what I have for you, okay? If you're not looking at the screen, you might want to glance right now. Okay, here's what I have for you. Mm-hmm, this could be yours. This could be yours. Mm-hmm. That could be yours, Salah. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay yeah so this is now Salah you probably already know what this is okay and anyone who has obtained this legally I have nothing but the utmost respect for you truly anyone who comes into the United States in a legally viable and uh, ethical way I have the most respect for I do okay you may already know what this is, Salah. You may already know. This is called a green card. Okay. I've already put your picture on there so you can picture it yourself if this was you. Country of birth, Kuwait. Okay. Now, if anyone from a federal agency happens to be watching, uh, just notice that there is an owl with, with glasses on there and this is not serious is on the top and bottom. Okay. Okay. I in no way mean to... Um, um, sully anything regarding the United States reputation. Okay. All right. We just, we just got to make it a more attractive to them to make, you know, so you can see it as a possibility, a possibility. 
You're going to stick with New Zealand? Okay, Shelly, I guess, I guess. <laughs> Pizza's looking for a place with bus service? I can't help him with that. No, no, no. He's Canadian. He can stay in Canada. Salah is truly looking for a foreign woman to, uh, to latch on to. And I'm telling you, Chantal is not the one. Now, Chantal, I'm sure you're listening, okay? Probably even more than Salah is. I love the Statue of Liberties in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. It's very patriotic feeling, isn't it? My goodness. <laughs> Come on down, Salah. Yes, May Anderson. Exactly. Come on down. You got it. You got it. <laughs> You're looking for a way to come in, Salah. I could be the ticket. I could be now, Chantal. If you are listening, okay, you're probably seething with jealousy and hatred towards a little owl on the screen. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Now, listen, Chantal. Let's face it, okay. Let's face it. You say you're 39 years old. I'm sorry. I know, I know people say that you are and that has been confirmed, but how you've been looking lately, I'm thinking more like 57. No offense. You know, I'm just, I'm just keeping it real with you. Okay. No offense. No offense intended. You look like you're 57. I don't know what happened on the plane. I have no idea. I don't know. Something happened. I mean, you were already looking pretty bad, but now it's like, oof, oof. Yeah. So Chantal, just relax. Okay. Take a deep breath, deep breath in and out. Okay. We don't want the blood pressure rising. We don't want the blood sugar rising. If you have the Big Turk candy bars close by, don't grab for them. Don't. They're very bad for you right now, Chantal. I know you don't care, but don't you still have to stay alive for Scylla? Because if he's going to come to the States to be with, are you serious, the owl, you better get to Kuwait first before he leaves. You better. You better try to get there ASAP. <laughs>